I honestly feel that Vanguard along with Medic are the most saturated classes in the game, at least in my opinion, and that's good in the sense that we have a lot of options to choose from and bad because there is a lot of competition. And Beanstalk is the unit that represents this perfectly. But who is Beanstalk? Beanstalk is originally from Colombia, like Bagpipe. She is familiar with life in the countryside, which is why she is dedicated to the breeding of metal crabs, however this was not very well accepted by her family, because the crabs she raises, have no use, that can bring an economic benefit. But by different turns of fate, she ended up contacting Rhodes Island, which by their own experience, know how strong these creatures can be in combat, thanks to this Beanstalk has become an operator, that will provide support with the help of their crabs. Beanstalk is a playable unit. Beanstalk is a vanguard unit, however unlike the rest of the units of this class, she can only be placed in the spaces for ranged units, such as casters or snipers. This is because, when we place her on the map, we can place one of the crabs in the spaces for melee units. Since she attacks, as if she were a sniper, she can also attack flying units, but don't expect her to do much damage. Stats and Talents Beanstalk despite being a 4 star unit we can notice that her attack is surpassed by several units, even Mightler, but don't worry, when we see her talents you will understand why her value is not very high. Her talent is called, Professional Breeder. This talent allows you to summon metal crabs in areas for melee units. The crabs have no cost, and do not consume the limit of units that you can deploy. They can block a unit, they cannot be healed by allied units. When their life reaches zero they hide under the ground to regenerate their life. The same will happen, if you try to remove them manually. To remove the crabs from the map is necessary to remove beanstalk, so be careful not to place them in the wrong space. Now to this skill we must add Beanstalk's special feature. When Beanstalk attacks an enemy unit that is being blocked by one of her crabs, her attack will increase by 150%. If we do the calculations the damage increases to approximately 651, which would allow her to exceed the damage of higher rarity units. Now let's talk about her skills. Its first skill, Sentinel Command. It will grant us DP and in addition it will regenerate the life of the crabs. This skill generates 8 DP in all levels. The only change it presents in each level is the cost and the initial SP. Honestly, this skill is only useful when you are starting the game and you don't have the necessary resources to improve the units. Let's move on to the second skill. Everyone together, Beanstalk will call more crabs, which will be positioned in the adjacent spaces of the crab we place. The crabs will only appear in the melee unit spaces and as long as it is not occupied by another unit or object. But that's not all. While the skill is active Beanstalk will also produce DP, and as if that were not enough, it will also increase the defense of the crabs. If you look closely, the crabs have a small visual change that indicates that they are receiving the effect of the skill. This skill produces 12 DP at all levels. However what does change is the defense increase that the crabs receive. At level 1 the defense increases 20%, at level 7 it is 50%, and at mastery 3 it will be 70%. As you can guess, this will be the skill that you will use most of the time. Thanks to this, you can plan ambushes or simply deal with waves of weak enemies without the need to invest many resources. I do not recommend using it only for the SP regeneration, as there are several units that are a better option for logical reasons, it will be best to look for the space on the map that allows you to summon the highest amount of crabs, however consider the following. You may have conflicts with other units with similar abilities, for example, Dusk, when summoning her units occupies spaces on the map, without realizing it may end up covering the spaces that Beanstalk would use. Also you may not notice the existence of the crab at first, either because of its size, or because you will be paying more attention to Beanstalk. As a last tip and perhaps the most important, is that I do not recommend that you place the crab on the edge of Beanstalk's range. Many times enemy units will hit the crab being out of range, which will cause Beanstalk not to attack them, and therefore you will not take advantage of its increased damage. On base talents. Beanstalk has an excellent combination of base talents. Her first talent Metal Crab P-Cake will increase her productivity by 15% when placed in a factory. 
She will have access to this talent from level 1. When we promote her to elite level 1, she will get the talent metal crab tree which will increase her capacity limit by 8, and reduce the consumed moral by 0.25 per hour. Allowing Beanstalk to stay for longer periods of time in the factories, and with the ability to produce even more products. Better companions for Beanstalk. Beanstalk is a peculiar unit. Being Vanguard she benefits greatly from units like Myrtle. However when fighting at a distance she will not always benefit from it. Using it together with DPS is not a bad idea, since it can stall several enemy units for a long time which gives enough time for other stronger units to finish them off without much trouble, and thus save you a lot of resources. It is a bit difficult to recommend which units could work better, since I consider it one of the most flexible units in terms of strategy. Pros and Cons Pros It is a vanguard that attacks from a distance. Its crabs allow for many strategies. Excellent combination of skills for the base. It can entertain several units without spending a lot of resources. Her skill 2 helps to make the most of her unique ability. Cons. Her skill 2 is not the best for generating DP. You need to remove it if you want to remove the crab from the map. Low defense which makes it an easy target for drones. Skins and modules. At the time of making this video, Beanstalk doesn't have a module yet. When I get one, I'll make a separate video where I'll dedicate to analyze. But it does have a skin, which is free, and will be available in a future update. Here is a comparison of the skin, with the base design. Get Beanstalk. Beanstalk is a 4 star unit which at the moment, can only be obtained through head hunting. So she can come out at any time you decide to pull in a banner, since she is in the permanent pull. However, if at some point there is a rerun of the Arkito banner, this would be the best time to look for her, because that was her debut banner. So it is the most likely time, to get several copies of her. Personal opinion. Beanstalk is for me the most fun vanguard unit of the whole game. Its peculiar summoning mechanic opens the doors to countless strategies. It is not the best unit to generate DP, but it is understandable, because its abilities do two very good things at the same time and somehow it had to be balanced, especially when it is a 4 star unit. Her ability to control several enemies at once, makes her an excellent choice to deploy at the beginning of missions, as she can finish off the weaker units very quickly, and even if she doesn't have enough damage, to finish off units with a considerable defense, she can stall them long enough for your stronger units to finish her off. Of course, this is just one way on how you can use it, I'm sure there are many more. I hope this video has been helpful for you to better understand how to use this unit, or to see if it is a good option for your playstyle. If you have any recommendation or correction do not hesitate to leave it in the comments. In the next video we will review a 5 star unit. Without more to say, take care and see you in the next video.